Hello students I hope you all are doing well at home Today we will discuss chapter 5 of English 2 which is about the noun naming word Let us first discuss what is a noun We know that any word used to denote name of person place animal or thing is called a noun For example name of person like Rita Rohit Kriti or name of any animal like tiger deer elephant or name of any place like India Guwahati Delhi etc are all noun Coming to the kinds of noun there are mainly five kinds of noun these are the common noun proper noun then collective noun abstract noun and the material noun now we will discuss each of these nouns in detail so coming to the common noun a common noun is the name which is common to any person or thing of the same kind for example boy city vegetables etc here we cannot specify which particular boy or which particular city or which particular vegetable we are talking about so these all are common nouns the second is proper noun it is the particular or the special name given to a place animal or any other things for example if we are talking about any person like rima shikha etc or any other city like mumbai delhi etc then it denotes that we are talking about that particular person or that particular city so such words are proper noun here we should remember that a proper noun always begin with a capital letter the third category is collective noun when a noun denotes any group of persons animals or things then it is a collective noun like a group of people can collectively called as a crowd or a group of students can be collectively referred to as a class the fourth category is the abstract noun the noun which states about a concept feeling or state or quality is known as abstract noun like any quality of kindness darkness etc or any actions like laughter cry etc or any state like childhood freedom etc any names of arts and sciences are abstract nouns like chemistry music biology etc these abstract nouns can be formed from various adjectives like kindness from the adjective kind or from any verb like obedience from the verb obey or from any common nouns like childhood from the common noun child the abstract nouns are usually uncountable but some are countable and have got plural forms for example feeling feelings thought thoughts etc the last but not the least is the material noun so a material noun denotes the name of the substance from which the object is being formed for example here women are fond of diamond jewelry so in this sentence diamond is the material noun because it denotes that the jewelry is made up of the substance diamond 
so with this we come to the end of this chapter the exercises of this chapter have already been given in the previous weeks so i hope you have already written all your exercises in your english 2 booklet here in this video a practice exercise is given which you are supposed to do in your english 2 booklet as your homework so please complete your work and take care thank you